Greetings, dear ones. Here's your weekend channeled inspirational reading for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, November 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 2014. The Archangel Zachael card came up by Sarita. He who cannot forgive breaks the bridge over which he himself must pass. A quote by George Herbert. This weekend's guidance is to see yourself completely taken care of in every way. See yourself moving up higher to new heights in a better place than you are in currently. Trust, endurance, determination are what must be leaned on right now if you're wanting to use your available time in the most constructive way to bring forth several areas of life to reach further, deeper into. The upcoming new moon happens to be the very next topic to come up at present. It's super potent. It's such a powerful, fun time to be in physical existence. We're sure you can sense this already. This week, several of you felt as though you had a great deal of answers to your most puzzling questions. Until you may have had some financial issues come through with no one really able to help you out. You could be so fed up because you desire much more physical security than you feel you have access to currently. Trust that everything will be fine since there's more for you to do. New moons symbolize a new beginning is at hand. This time of the month is a wonderful period to fall back, take a moment to breathe, plus reflect on what you want to create for the upcoming future month. It's a time to meditate, get clear about your intentions, and for added measure, Please take a moment to write a list of what you want to manifest in your life without showing that list to the world. Put it away into your journal for safekeeping. There's so much coming through. Stay with us. All manifestations begin with an idea, vision, image, dream, desire, wish. At the fresh, fiery new moon on Saturday, November 22nd, 2014, it's a time to renew, restart, exercise, connect, refresh, recalibrate. It's also a time to re release your intentions into the cosmos by visualizing your prize with an expectation of knowing that everything will work out, that everything will be okay for you. It truly will, so no worries. The upcoming adventurous new moon is in Sagittarius, which rules areas like freedom, humor, higher education, spirituality, religion, being candid, long distance journeys, traveling, generosity, free thinking, plus a lot more. This energy from the moon has come to clearly help. Let's not forget the best part of it all, which is that Sagittarius is also ruled by the planet Jupiter that is asking you to dream very, very big. At the next full moon, the sun's light will be fully reflected off the moon. It is then that you can start to see any results of what you started at the new moon in a nutshell. This period is important, super important. It's also where you will gain plenty of well-needed insight this weekend in the area of confidence plus security. The feeling of there really being a true higher purpose and a higher power of some sort could be realized, remembered, or even celebrated. Insight should flow in well this weekend and just before the weekend you will also notice that your beliefs about life in general are changing if there were any long-standing beliefs about this or that you can finally realize why it was time for you to perhaps open your mind to bigger better things than the past to see massive change in life do whatever you like all the way up to friday we say then get down to business sitting or standing going about charting your very own life course. The timing is perfect to still make something significant happen. All you have to do is place the precious time that you have available on putting things you know, into place like the pieces to the puzzle of your dreams together. If you have no idea what the puzzle pieces are towards your dreams, then you can still make a way where there seems to be no way. If you have no idea what you want to do, then place your energy into bringing together all the gratitude that you have currently. You can write this out as a list if you like. It doesn't matter, just as long as you get it out and onto paper, dear one. But how do you do this? It's simple enough just to write it down. Write down a list of at least 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 100, or whatever works best for you. After you do, 
this wonderful thing of writing down the things that invoke your spiritual power. That's the next thing you're going to do. So after this, you're going to invoke your spiritual power to ignite your desires on paper, to energize them for speedy takeoff. If you're not sure of how to do this or how this is done, then call on Archangel Zachael to assist you. This is simple. Just follow the steps, but you can use whatever process you already use too. We highly suggest that you do exactly works best for you. There is no right or wrong here. As you see, certain pieces fall into place. You will grow more confidence in the future if you could use more. Well, hold on to your seat because it's going to be a new day. Finally, we're coming up and out of the transformational cycle of Scorpio. Yay! We appreciate you. If you need more clarity, go back to read this week's daily readings. We guarantee you'll find what you seek. For now, remember your peace. We look forward to your comments, tags, and sharing as always. We care for you so very much. Sayofia, Sarita's spiritual guide. For you, it's all love. Take care. And if you'd like a one-on-one reading with me, then check out my website so you can book a time with me at www.naturallyhighlife.com. How did your day end up flowing? We'd love to hear about it. Subscribe to us on Instagram. YouTube, and the website as well. Peace.